case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 2008 Supreme Court case, Irizarry v. United States, the focus was on the requirement that judges provide notice before deviating from the sentencing guidelines unless they have the discretion to impose any reasonable sentence. The case was sparked by Richard Irizarry's violation of a restraining order when he sent threatening emails to his ex-wife and her new husband. In pre-sentencing, the court recommended a sentence of 41 to 51 months. However, to the surprise of Mr. Irizarry's defense, the judge imposed the statutory maximum sentence, 60 months. This unprecedented move led to the defense's argument that they were not notified of the court's intention to depart from the sentencing guidelines, prompting them to question the universality of Rule 32, H, of the Federal Rules of Criminal Procedure that mandates such notice. Irizarry contested the sentencing, despite admitting to his behavior, and argued that enhancements applied in the presentence report were inappropriate, and that his acceptance of responsibility was unjustly dismissed. The court ruled against Irizarry. They decided that Rule 32, H's requirement for notice, did not need to be extended to variances in sentencing. The court suggested that both judges and counsel could ensure all pertinent sentencing factors were contemplated under the existing protections of Rule 32. A mandated notice for special variances could provoke unnecessary delays, and, as the government argued, the lack of notice in this case was a harmless error. Consequentially, the court found no violation of Rule 32, H, and upheld the 60-month sentence. This pivotal case redefined the boundaries of Rule 32, H, asserting that the rule does not apply universally when judges have the flexibility to impose any reasonable sentence. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.